Let me ask you this question, uh, because I've asked this to Daniel Jeremiah, that you could have Trevor Lawrence or you could have Justin Herbert right now. Um, I would say Justin Herbert, and that's a big <laughs> jump for me. Yeah. Um, because I was a huge Trevor Lawrence fan, and I still am. But the two things, or I think the thing that stands out the most to me is when Herbert's back was against the wall and he really had to like kind of take over games this year. He did like, he took over games. I understand the offensive line wasn't great and some receivers were down and he still played really well as much as I love Trevor Lawrence. And as much as I don't like the scheme that he played in at Clemson and that they were kind of okay talent wise this year, he didn't, he didn't rise up when his back was against the wall. And that would be something that I have to figure out why that was the case the last three times he's played in those big games when the team across from him was pretty darn good. And he had to become like the dude, the difference maker. He didn't do it. And um, that's a little bit, that gives me pause. But if you look at Justin Fields now with what he did, how he played, got, you know, hit pretty hard, the toughness there, had some great deep throws over the middle, and now you have the national title game. Is there a way that he could somehow come out of this as the quarterback in the draft? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'd say two two ways why, two or reasons why. If, if Urban Meyer takes the Jacksonville job, I could absolutely see him liking Justin Fields. And then two, if you go out and whoop up on Nick Saban's defense, that's a big deal to the NFL. I mean, NFL coaches value and evaluators value Nick Saban as a coach. If you go out and whoop Venables and whoop Nick Saban, yeah. you can absolutely see him jumping Trevor Lawrence.